Proverbs eleven twenty nine, He that troubleth his own house shall inherit the wind, and the fool shall be servant to the wise of heart. Abuse your privileges or neglect your family duties will bring potential problems to your life, and prosperity will slip through your fingers just like wind. These bad choices will take you down and you will become somebody else's servant. When we look at a household, there are three main occupants. And only one of these three, or all three, will bear the same consequences. Let's notice them in particular. Let's think of, first of all, the fathers. Far, off, far too often they work many hours, far too many hours, and they waste money in foolish ventures. They deprive their family of personal attention as they're constantly doing something for self. They're stingy with their money. They compromise integrity and are carnally minded, all in the vain pursuit of wealth. On the other side, lazy and foolish men also hurt their families by depriving them of the needs and opportunities through sloth and ignorance. They do not take the time for their families not only physically, but spiritually and moreover spiritually. Fathers can also be too overbearing, too harsh and critical and domineering, which may discourage their wives and children or provoke them to wrath. Let's consider mothers. An overbearing wife or mother, they're evil. They drive children to anger, to bitterness, to discouragement, to frustration, and even to hatred. They can be full-time meddlers, always digging, nagging, and pressing suggestions about unimportant aspects of life. Listen, we need to understand, troubling our family has consequences. Foolish parents who selfishly neglect their children or odiously interfere in their lives will lose them. But let's not forget the children. Those who do not honor and obey their parents, they pull themselves out from under the umbrella of their protection. And thus they are exposed to the elements of wind that we find will take them away. Our behavior within the family structure makes it a solid foundation against the storms of life. And believe me, there are plenty of those. Or that behavior makes us like dust swept away by the wind. And God calls us a fool in that connection. Let's consider this problem very seriously. It's a real problem in our families today. And remember what it says. He that troubleth his own house shall inherit the wind, and the fool shall be servant to the wise of heart.